Infertility as a whole is extremely common. It's estimated that one in eight couples in the United States suffer from infertility. 40% of the cases, it's due to a male factor. The initial evaluation for male factor infertility would comprise of a semen analysis, as well as a thorough history of one's own health and family history. It's really important to, to do those early on in the process. What we try to do here is from the onset, treat the couple as a couple and assess the male component and the female component. So we have information to make our decisions. The more information you have, the better the decisions can be. The history for male infertility encompasses a history of undescended testicles, surgeries to the inguinal or scrotal region, a history of toxic exposures, whether it's chemotherapy or environmental toxins, certain drugs, prescription drugs can affect male fertility. A family history, is there a family history of infertility? Based on the initial evaluation, uh, we can then determine what else needs to be done. For example, blood tests looking at genetic causes of infertility, hormonal imbalances, ultrasonography is sometimes indicated to look out or to diagnose dilated veins, which are called varicoceles, or looking for testicular lesions including ruling out the presence of cancer. These are all crucial parts of the workup that would be initiated when the preliminary uh, evaluation suggests a problem. Also part of the evaluation is to look and assess the male's health. Just because one has a low sperm count and we offer the state-of-the-art technologies to overcome that, it does not mean that we shouldn't make sure that the male is healthy. A low sperm count can be uh, an indicator of conditions such as hypogonadism, which means a low testosterone. Men need testosterone for maintaining libido, sexual performance, but it's also crucial for muscle mass and bone health. What, what's unique about Army of New York is that I work closely with the world's leaders in female uh, and infertility so that the care is coordinated we interact daily. Patients really get input from both the male and female experts in the field so that the plan is individualized and not delayed because of the level of communication that we have. Everything is done on site so that retrievals are done without transferring samples from one facility to the other. And we truly believe and are committed that this type of coordination delivers uh, the best fertility care anywhere. At Army of New York, we offer state-of-the-art therapies, including hormonal and medical therapies. We offer microsurgical reconstruction, including vasectomy reversal, microsurgical varicoselectomies. We, together with the IVF lab where ICSI is routinely done, we perform microsurgical testicular sperm extraction. For spinal cord patients, we offer electroejaculation. Our goal at Army of New York is to offer treatment for male factor infertility with the hope that the least invasive technologies can be utilized to achieve a pregnancy in an expeditious fashion. We offer comprehensive, state-of-the-art care of which we're very proud of.